Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gary's Offering channel. And in, today I want to talk about a business case study. And we all know you know how to analyze and write up your business case study. So there will be have uh, two parts. The first part will be analysis of uh, session one to session two. Then the write out part will be the session 3 to session 5. So let's talk about the session 1's reading process. First, you need to scan through the case for clues to identify the close scenario. And second, you need to browse through the reference to learn further information. Because when you just go through once from the case study, and there are a lot of references will give you some clues. Then, three, take uh, to make sure what clues support decisions, evaluation, or problem scenario. You need to define this is what kind of the case is a decision case or evaluation case. That's probably is a problem scenario. Four. Based on the scenario, the situation understanding step helps resolving the uncertainty. Five, taking notes of each paragraph to list things. Uh, I would suggest you just take a rough idea of the each paragraph uh, talk about. Then you will get some idea to find the supporting ideas or the problem of uh, each paragraph. Since analyzing the things to the uh, issue point. 7. Concluding the case, main issue, and uh, thinking about the actions. Last, the action will solve the issue and uh, support your position. So, right now we need to discuss your funding from the case to discuss with your partners, classmates, or the professor probably will give you some directions. So first you need to make a conclusion from your funding and establish your point. Second, decide what type of case from your understanding. Yeah, so last you need to have some argument or alternative plan then build out your action plan. Then now we move to the part 2, writing up. You need to define what is the decision factor for this case. What are the main options for decision making? You need to compare each of decision and choose one of the most optimal decision. So how do you process all the writing up? The first, you need to choose one of the recommended decision then summarize the major reason the major reason you want to choose this decision. Second, then each of the reasons must have some crude or evidence to support you to choose that decision. Uh, for example, if the case talk about the company will be bankrupt soon, then the CEO must make some decision and it will have like the five decisions you need to compare each of the decision to choose one of the best and some of the decision you probably need to look for the law or the economic conditions in index to support your decision making. After you build out all your evidence into the evidence one, two, three, uh, you need to explain why you make this decision to support that evidence. And you need to move to the uh, action plan. The first, you need to give you a conclusion of the final end. Why this end cause that decision? 
why this decision will cause the uh, end of uh, performance or end of the result. Then the action plan will have several steps. You can use like the short term plan or long term plan, depends on how you describe your decision to make that situation perfect. Then need to according to the each plan associate with your risks. Yeah, because each plan must have some hinder risk, you need to list out and identify and give some solution how to um, eliminate the risks. Okay, the second scenario will be the evaluation type case. So, why is the subject for evaluation? Is this case talk about a person who have uh, underperforming uh, result or the team's performance is now working well or maybe it's a product problem or product features, characteristics, price, location or uh, any backup solution to support your evaluation type. And Second, what is the evaluation you need to perform? It's talk about uh, the value or the performance or the outcome. So depends on what the factors to evaluate your main person, team, product or service. Yeah. So what concept or analytic tool might help answer evaluations? If this is a marketing problem, you probably need to use the five C's, four P's to analyze that um, marketing's performance or marketing's strategy. Then you will have something priority, right? Yeah, you also can use some like the statistics analysis to support or evaluate for a topic. So how to write out your evaluation scenario cases? So first session overall evaluation, you need to summarize in the major reasons why you want to evaluate it product or the strategy or service. Second, they must have something evidence support that um, reason, right? So you need to list down what uh, evidence to, to support or explain your evaluation idea. Then we will move to the action plan. It's the same as the decision type. You need to sell the goal. Um, there will be in the evaluation scenario will be like um, change the situation by the what value or the outcome. Yeah, and we will have the deliverables how you execute your plan. What is your plan um, progress or what is your plan look like in a short term, long term? And you must have some uh, risk assessment for each plan. And how you resolve these risks for your solution. Okay, that will be the problem scenario case. Compared to the decision making scenario cases and the evaluation scenario cases, they are very career to define how to define it and how to find uh, evidence to support your results. When you study your case, um, there will be lots of uh, contents. The problem scenario will be difficult to def uh, define it because you can find the answer, right? It's very hard to find a product. 
So the most critical rule or the most critical uh, ideas for a problem scenario defined will be they tell you the business is not good or the performance is not good then there is a problem scenario cases so problems are effect of the costs such as actions process activities or force problem scenario often concern business passage and what question will help you to understand the cause so the company's poor quality make the um, underperforming result or maybe some of the department performance is not working well that cause the business is not good and that's one methodology you can identify and prove the causes mm. so there will be a lot of reason to have the underperforming right the leadership influence the internal performance like they have a bad interaction or not, not communicate well it probably will cause some disconnected to all the communication or the operations so how to writing up your problem scenario cases first we need to define the part of problem and you probably need to describe some major causes that make the problem and second you still need to uh, seek for the evidence from the case there will be lots of uh, evidence to support that problem happen and you will have the action plan the goal is very easy how to change the problem or how to resolve a problem then move on to the plan details yeah so the rest of uh, then are risks and how to eliminate the risks okay so let's see thank you for your watching and um, please subscribe or uh, give me the thumb up have a nice one